So welcome to a gardening video. You can actually see me do some work in the garden this morning. And there's just a couple of things I need to probably harvest. I'm a Good morning. I am um, out here early trying to get into this garden real quick because my cucumber plants are diseased and um, I've got to get them cleaned up because I don't want them to mess up the rest of my stuff. I'm um, trying to set my watch because even though I'm not going to be doing like a whole lot of whole lot of, I still want to just track how much I'm doing fitness wise because gardening is exercise. Um, I'm so disappointed because it's my fault. Let's, let's walk. Walk with me, talk with me. Um, I have not been out here to like really do a lot of, um, yes, the tents are still on the porch. I have not been out here, out here to do a lot of pruning and stuff like I should. And the cucumbers have become diseased or the leaves, they look like this. So I'm cutting off a big part of them. I still need to get out here and create some type of stability because the wind has blown, um, the wind blew my, my little posts down. So, um, grab what I feel like I look like Ella May Clampett. Um, so I'm just out here trying to cut off as many of the diseased leaves as possible because I don't want them to get um, I don't want it to continue to spread through my whole plant. And even though I did read that it is not poisonous um, and it's, you know, it's not harmful, I don't want it on my plants. You know, I want them to still be pretty <laughs> and full looking, but not to this extent. I don't need all these leaves. And I had been coming out here trimming leaves, but not to the extent that I should have been. Whoa. Ooh, I angered that bee. I angered a bee. And see, bees are still like really out here. So I gotta be careful because we ain't trying to get stung. Ooh. Girl, it's some stuff out here. So hopefully I am helping give you some information on gardening tips by the mistakes that I've made. Um, I, I'm hoping that the information that I'm sharing is uh, beneficial to you so that you don't, even if you don't have a garden, just so that if you decide to start a garden, garden, these are some things to remember. Make sure you prune your leaves. And I think it's because of all the rain and we've been having all this rain and the the plant is heavy. So the airflow has been impacted because plants do need to breathe. So both plants look really bad with the diseased leaves. So, Oh, I've angered another bee. Dang, I didn't even get the whole thing off of that one. And I know I look crazy. I got on this jacket. I got, I got on pants. Cause I'm not trying to get bit up. These mosquitoes are insane. Girl, the bee said the flower is on the ground. I'm gonna pollinate it even though it's on the ground, honey. Ain't attached to nothing. I guess he remembered, he got mad at me. All right, so I'm gonna be very careful and prune as much of this plant as possible. I'll be back. Because I, like I said, I do need to get through here and do some other stuff too. She looks terrible, she looks so pitiful. But I think I got most of the disease leaves off. Oh, she looks really thin. 
they're finally down there cutting some of that stuff out back there, that brush back there, cutting them trees down behind our houses. Cause let me show y'all. Y'all probably have seen it before, but it's very un, it's not, it has not been maintained in years. Like none of these trees back here have been maintained for years. So you can see through there where they're actually cutting them down some because they're actually damaging property property um, here. They're damaging people's fences. Now our fence is old. A lot of people's fences are old, but the weight of these trees leaning on the fences doesn't help either. And like we have trimmed some of our own that have been growing in our yard, but we shouldn't have to be cutting for so much because the city needs to maintain the city line, the city property. And behind this fence, it's their property. So, yeah, I'm glad they're back there cutting it down. And because we've been having, um, what is it, an onslaught of raccoons? Yeah. Now back to our business at hand over here. But look at the poor little cucumber plant, Lord. But I do have cucumbers. At least I can see a few. <sighs> and it was, oh, I do have some tomato flowers that I couldn't see earlier. So let's go back to the plant and see. We actually lost the whole plant, which is fine because it's not like I don't have more cucumbers coming. Now let's get to this one. Look at that. Ooh. I have angered the wasp now. What is it that attracts wasps to wood? What is it? Y'all tell me. Oh, I have another little baby watermelon. Can you see it? Right there? Let me see if I can zoom in. A baby watermelon. Hey. How cute is she? Hey, girl. Look at our cantaloupe. She's growing. She's showing off. I hope she doesn't start displaying any signs of any disease, but the cantaloupe plant is really growing. I have two. Y'all see that cantaloupe right there? There's a cantaloupe coming in right under this leaf. Hold on. Cantaloupe. This one isn't as bad, which I'm actually glad about because this is the larger plant. Now, I'm noticing a lot of leaves that are yellowing. This one isn't as bad. I mean, there are some leaves, but this one is not gonna look like she went on a, a marathon and went running and lost all her weight. She over there. She looked like a long distance runner. All right, y'all, so she is a little thin, but I still think she looks healthier than the other one. So now I just need to um, get the post in the ground. Dick, I'm not gonna hammer that into the ground and then um, prop it up so it's better supported. And let's see what else needs to be done. Uh, I need to give, really, I need to bring this tomato plant up. I need to stabilize that. I need to pull those tomatoes. 
um i need to trim the leaves so i got quite a bit left to do so we're gonna be out here for a little bit i really need to fertilize also these are popping right off i don't even have to cut them i look so country right now <laughs> i'm amazed and amused all at the same time really should have cleaned these off before I move from one plant to the other because you can transfer disease from one plant to the other so that's my faux pas I should have cleaned this first but Lord bless my plants so that they don't get any of whatever this disease stuff was from the cucumbers two or three are gathered so it's me and you so that's two we gathering and we praying over my garden and keeping it healthy in Jesus name amen Let me go in the house right now or on the porch and get some more um I don't know what that was. Let me go in the house and get some um some sta some um stabilizer pieces. Two tomatoes. I hope they come back because there's still some tree hanging over the fence. I hope they get that too. I'm trying to stay out here until they come back down so I can see if I can catch them. But these are the little clamps that I'm using. I'm just trying to get all these yellow leaves. They're not doing the plant any good. Look at this. Leaves. Okay, lesson for today. I'm never planting the wild flowers anymore because they come up like sparingly and they produce more wild grass than anything. And I don't like it. Like I got pockets of flowers here and there, but mostly it's thick grass and I don't like that. So this will be the last year that I'm planting that box seeds for flowers from now on i'm actually gonna look for um i'm just gonna actually get the actual flower seeds for wildflowers i'm gonna try to make sure it's not the because what i've been doing is pouring like it's like a powdery kind all right let's move over to the squash i'm gonna try to lower the camera but i want to move over more to the squash and zucchini because that needs to be cut and i don't even know if y'all be able to see it but look at that we have a rose blooming she's gonna be pretty all right oh wait a minute i heard some bees fighting so i don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see or not what i'm doing i hope you can but um i'm just over here trimming leaves that serve no purpose and i do see a zucchini growing so I need to prop this plant up as well. I'm so disappointed with myself. But I, you know what? I shouldn't be disappointed with myself because we've been having so much rain. It really hasn't even afforded me the opportunity to get out here and work. I need to cut some of this green onion too. Find my again. All right, so I'm gonna cut the phone off because I'm recording from my phone today because the camera.
whoa, falling because the camera was acting crazy or the SD card. Something about it was locked and I can't format it. And it's the card I've been using. So let me go ahead and do this. I probably need to harvest some more basil very soon. Um, but I'll be back later maybe um, in the week. I'm not sure. Or I may just end it here. We'll see. But let me cut it off before the phone dies. Let's go for a quick walk. Um, the jasmine... I had a bloom on there, but it fell off. I ended that pot I showed y'all already. Um, the peppers, I think they're coming to an end. Cos Excuse me, the Cosmos never bloomed this year. I have pretty much thinned out all of the squash leaves that were not any good. This one, <laughs> excuse me, I think I'm gonna have to um, get rid of this plant. Um, I got rid of another squash plant from there. Those little flowers are still doing whatever. Um, I got rid of all of the dead pieces of the raspberry bush because, and I knew they were dead because the stems were all brown. So I got rid of all the brown ones in there. Hopefully this one isn't gonna turn brown. I need to go ahead and feed it and water it. Um, I need to cut those leaves off though. The ras and the blueberry bush, I think it said that I needed to give it some phosphorus because the um, leaves, look at the color of the leaves. So I was reading and it said it needed phosphorus. So I need to go out, come out here and feed. Hopefully I can bring it back. If not, yeah, this is gonna be sad. But on a good note, we got the raspberries coming in there. And then we have some more coming in there. Um, this is gonna be a sunflower it's coming in and then i just basically trimmed as much as i could from oops sorry from all the other plants but look at those beautiful zinnia flowers aren't they beautiful this is looking like it's gonna be a sunflower i think um yeah i trimmed a lot of leaves i need to cut that leaf also look at that though this is exciting i haven't seen this all summer last summer i was picking tomatoes by the handfuls every day so this is a promising sign. There's a little tomato back there. Oh, I need to take this off. When they look like this, take them off. These are all seeds. Hold on. This is all seeds. Dry it out and get the seeds. And the, when you, the more you deadhead them, the more flowers will bloom. So I always walk around looking for pieces like this y'all i have my first borage flowers look there's one there and then there's another one so i don't know how long i'm gonna let those grow before i cut them i need to go and see how long i'm supposed to let them grow before i cut them but i'm excited because this is my first time growing them okay y'all so we got a lot of rain last night and the cantaloupe plant has really grown. That is crazy. It is really spreading. Um, I'm seeing tons and tons of flowers for green beans and the cantaloupe. So I don't even know if that watermelon is really growing, but I'm not taking it down. Um, but that's what it, and look y'all, the cucumber plants looks absolutely pitiful now since I had to trim all those leaves. But I'm noticing even these that didn't have spots on them, like I'm noticing spots developing from overnight. So I'm just gonna let these few cucumbers, look at this, this one is just falling over. I'm gonna let the cucumbers that are here go ahead and develop. And then I'm just gonna take the cucumber plants up and call it a season for these. These tomatoes are finally starting to get some flowers. I don't see anything on those tomatoes just yet. Um, Y'all, there's tons of mosquitoes out here, so I'm getting ate up. This tomato plant is really huge as well. The cilantro is still doing nicely. Um, no peppers yet, but the pepper plants are growing. Um, anything else I wanna show y'all before I go in the house? Oh yeah, I have a nice heirloom tomato that I'm about to pick right now. Um, anything else? Oh, my rose, it opened. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? 
Um, I did do more pruning out here, of course, yesterday I showed y'all. And it does look better. Look at the cucumber connecting to the fence over there. But I think that's all um, that I have for now. That green bean plant is really starting to go more and I gotta catch it before it connects to the screen. I don't want it to do, I don't want it to do connection to the screen. I'd rather it connect to the fence. Now my legs getting big up. I do see more green um bean, I mean green pea, green pepper flowers popping in. We got a little couple of peppers there. And of course the beautiful zins. And this is how they look once they fully open, and this is how they look when they're starting to open. So um I think that's it though. Oh, ugh, I hate mosquito bites. Um, I'm going to end this video. This is going to be the end of this gardening video for this week. And we will be on to our next venture. So, um, oh my God, I'm itching so bad. So I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out in the garden with me. Um, I hope you learned something. I uh, hope you picked up on something that, you know, may interest you or answered any question you may have about your potential garden. Um, it is now time to start planning the fall garden. So, girl, get your pots, get your soil, get your seeds, get everything you need so that we can garden together in the fall. Um, I think now it's time. I just turned in a complete circle. It's time now to plant... Um, Oh my God, my legs are itching. It's time to plant a lot of stuff, <laughs> like your cool weather crops. So if you have any questions on how you can start your garden indoors or outdoors for the fall, I will answer to my, the best of my ability. Um, this is a hobby that has become a passion for me. And um, I just wanna share my knowledge. And I think that I'm gonna wrap it up there because I don't wanna begin rambling. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I think we're going to do some self-care in the next video. What do y'all think? You think some self-care? I think so. Love you. Bye.